lay their eggs in my bust. <laughs> Kevin's still running around with that bucket on his face. The big ounce's injury is still pretty bad. Nature's forced to be reckoned with. Quit scratching your armpit and kiss me on my hot mouth. It could probably kill me. Oh, sweet wampum. PewDiePie. Beautiful creatures. How do we legally kill every owl in this area? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my clappy blappity factory. As you can see here, the electric hookups are just about ready. Pretty soon we're gonna have electric running from this big old pole to the barn. And we'll have our own little meter for the whole operation here. We have all of this area paneled in now. <gasps> so we don't have to worry about the animals ever chewing on the insulation again. I have all the cappies and the wobbies moved into this little area for today. And these guys have just been going to town on all the grass that's here. And these little ones are getting a bit more tame now that they're watching Gordon Quandale eat from me every day. And it's helping Gordon Quandale get more tame too. As you can see very clearly here now, Gort is definitely a boy from this nose gland. Quandale is definitely a girl because she doesn't have that. Now it's hard to tell with these other clappies, but I think they might both be girls or one's a boy and one's a girl. We don't know for sure. The only way to really know their genders is to look inside those adorable little vents that they have. And I don't care to do that. And I don't think they care for me to do that. So I think we'll just be surprised and happy when we find out. But just from looking at it, that one does look like a little tiny Gort. It's his mini me. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. We got a real nice rain last night and all these little guys were able to go inside the bar. These are my friend's wallabies. Like I said before, they are not very tame at all, but they are from a area where people hunt them for meat. And apparently people like to get full body mounts of these cringe little things in their house. Look how much smaller this one is than the baby laying down over there. Imagine being cringe enough to get a full body mount of this in your living room. Oh, I'm sorry, did I just make two of you very mad? But the low for the 10 day forecast is actually 50 degrees. So the barn can now stay open all of the time. I'm also gonna organize these hay bales later. And I may not have said this, but a few days ago, we lost our female call duck to an owl. And I can tell it was an owl from the way the corpse was. So I'm very sad about this. It was so cute to have these guys in a little pair. As a prospective wildlife rehab, how do we legally kill every owl in this area? I'm very torn, but that's just what happens. And there's really no way to protect them from owls except for herding them into a little thing together. What's crazy though was that she was right there when I found her, which means the owl had to dive through these branches, which means it might have been a small owl that came here and then straight down. Either way, I'm working on a solution. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. The baby's been over here for a few days and he loves to just sit in the shade and watch the ostrich and emus walk around. I'm sure somehow this genetically reminds him of home, even though he also was born on a meat farm. These new cringe cappies, Kumala and Sevesta, will not eat my apples. And I don't think PewDiePie or Mark Market pliers really care about apples either, honestly. Oh, maybe they do. Cringe little man. I'll give that other little bit to market pliers. But as you can see here, we have two new pigaringos that keep Petunia company now. These guys are our sanctuary pigs that the nice people that gave them to us had them as pets. And they knew we weren't gonna just eat them, so they gave them to me instead. Here you go, Petubias, go ahead and eat it. I removed all those enclosures over there and the little enclosure that we had here for the pig because these guys didn't even <laughs> like it. They chose to sleep in here instead or outside. And for now, this is a perfect little enclosure for these guys. It does get a little wet in there, but now that it's basically Basically summer here in Texas, they're gonna love that. The weather's gonna be in the 80s all day this week. And this really is one of the sweetest little pigs I've ever seen. But these guys share a little wall with our emus and ostriches. We're getting these ponds fixed in April, but now the ostrich and the emus all share this entire area here. James Charles, Shrek, and Homelander, wow. And for some reason, chestnuts explore in this little open area that we made. The pigs haven't destroyed this little nipple yet, although I have a feeling I might have just jinxed myself. This is my daily routine for all of these animals. Even they fight a little bit over their food. Oh, oh! don't you worry, market pliers. I'm gonna give you your own handful, boy. Oh, sweet wampum. Look at that form. What a beautiful little creature. I really do love these little fellas, you guys. For some reason, the goats are not territorial with Remington when it comes to food at all. And yeah, we got dandelions now. Ever heard of it? Whoa, was that hit rapper an artist? De Baber? Sir, sir, I am so such a big fan, you have no idea. How about you quit scratching your armpit and kiss me on my hot mouth? 
Sure doesn't feel good when you scratch me with that claw, bull. But look how big and strong he is now, you guys. Look at his pecs, they're massive. This is why old Uncle Ben's been lifting every day, because now, if old Uncle Ben hadn't been lifting every day for the last year, this would be a lot more harder than it is now. <laughs> and most of my friends that come over here are actually pretty scared of this little man. He may not seem terrifying now, but you guys just wait. Give him another year or two. He's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. And with my help, he will defeat Logan Paul in the ring November 23rd, 2023. This is the special rat type feed that these guys go through very quickly every day. I have to refill this whole thing every few days, but the convenient thing is that they all eat just about the same food. Kevin still tries to kill me every day. Okay, easy does it, children. Check this out, you guys. I made some real progress on Homelander. Homelander, get over here. Watch this. While Homelander's eating, he'll let me touch his thigh. I got a clip of that from yesterday. Kevin, no. He will let me kiss him if I just time it perfectly. Look at these beautiful legs, you guys. Look at that undercarriage. How beautiful is that? This is nature's force to be reckoned with. If this guy kicked me even right now, it could probably kill. Definitely if it was well aimed right for my head. Look at that leg though. Beautiful. All right, children, here you go. Have a oh, Kevin. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Take it. Take it. Just have the whole thing. Why not? Go ahead. Just take the whole thing, Kevin. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, Karen was like, please, Kevin, stop. The whole family is just fed up with this man. He just wasted a whole thing of food. These guys are just the most perfect little creatures. I never have to, oh, wow, they're wet. They were swimming. That's so cool. Look at that. Yeah, they love to jump in these little pools over here. And they always have fresh water right in here. Kevin's still running around with that bucket on his face. Perfect. Okay, Kevin, no, here, let me help you. Oh, he dropped it. See, guys, it's not that dangerous to own a Rhea. You just have to learn how to read them. You see, I knew he was gonna jump. I knew. What do you think I am, stupid? <laughs> oh, fine. I'll let you have one. <laughs> oh, you missed. Whoa, a kangaroo. Never seen one of those before. Boring. <laughs> I still spar with the baby every other day just so he stays strong and uh, enriched. Because it is an enrichment thing for me to come out here and fight him like this every day. He thinks that I'm his mom after all. He probably thinks I'm both his mom and the alpha male in the pack. Just put a bunch of food in there for these guys. How did this stick get in here? No, Kevin. How did this stick get in here? Okay, guys, I've decided to name this little fella Plappa. This is the bigger female. In memory of Plappa. And I'm naming this one White Karen. Just White Karen because she's a small little white white version of Karen. Uh, Kevin found a little weapon there, apparently. And if white Karen doesn't keep eating this food, then she's not gonna grow up big and strong like her mom. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the trough from in there. I'm gonna go ahead and bring old reliable to keep me protected. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Another thing I'll say is that taking care of my body has made doing things like this a lot easier. Oh, is that Kevin? <laughs> See, now I can just use this as old reliable. I don't need the actual lid. Back up, Kevin. Back up. Back up. Go. Go, 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 go. No, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. This is my own little personal feed store. I keep it in here with my little solar power. Only other thing I'll say, too, is that a 50-pound bag of feed did not weigh what it used to. But no, guys, I couldn't do leg day for the last three weeks because uh, because I'm still getting over what happened to the queen. Ever since the queen passed away, old Uncle Ben hasn't been able to finish her leg day. But look at this beautiful boy. But as you can see, the Wobbies and the Cappies get along pretty well, and they have this whole area here for shade, too. Oh, this grass here is nice and tall and healthy. And the Chickens all live in the bus now, and Gamer mates with all of them. Gamer gets to live like King Solomon with all kinds of wives from around the world. And they don't really stray too far from this little yard area here for the new building. So they're free-range birds, and they go wherever they want on the property, but they stay here, and they lay their eggs in my bus. Pog moment. Even though Ounce Topia has fallen, I still go in here and check on them and take care of them every day. But like normal cringe prairie dogs in the wild. Oh, did you hear that one yell? They just stay under the head in their burrows. Now, if I started going crazy and going, hey, yo, yap da 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 bee they'll start coming out. But I'm not trying to bother these boys. And this enclosure is better than any other private enclosure for prairie dogs that I've seen, believe it or not. But most of them do live in cages like this. But I do dearly love these creatures. And I recently spoke with a woman that set up the zoo in China for prairie dog enclosures. Also, you guys just missed it. He made his adorable little noise. The big ounce's injury is still pretty bad. We are a couple weeks out from surgery. Because it's in such a tricky spot, it's hard 
for me to take care of, and I don't want to let him do that at all. His tumor hasn't grown at all, but he keeps trying to jump up and down and ends up getting scratched and then a little bit more red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fence him off in here. I still keep giving him his antibiotics because I know that's the best thing for him right now. Look at this little boy. Okay, this is much better for him now. As you can see, he has his pee pad, a little area to bed in right there, but his little tumor is still pretty nasty. I'm also going to move this boy outside because it's 80 something degrees. And here he has all kinds of fresh grass to eat. But I just want to say thank you guys again for praying for Big Al. I saw all the comments about starting to go fund me so we could pay for his surgery, but it's okay, you guys, I can cover that. It's not a crazy surgery, but I would like to do something even better. We do have some cringe Big Ounce pillows, and our merch site is finally live and ran by some people that can actually do it. So I really made sure I crossed my T's and dotted my I's before I did this. And I never promote merch, ever. I never promote anything. I don't even do brand deals. You notice that? Because people that do brand deals are cringe but we are starting to fundraise and i only even sell merch whenever we actually need the money for projects so after speaking with that prairie dog expert woman that has been doing it for 30 years she said she's been studying prairie dog and she set up the enclosure in the japan zoo she didn't say which one though my goal now is to start fundraising for us to have a awesome zoo level prairie dog exhibit where we can have multiple prairie dogs in there a little town of prairie dogs if you will in honor of big ounce that way when the kids come out here for the tours from the elementary schools and the inner city schools in Waco we can show them what a real prairie dog town looks like there are tons of prairie dogs out there that need to be adopted believe it or not but they're actually very needy and you can't just throw them in someone's house with a dog and a cat for some reason big ounce who scares off ostriches is an absurd exception to that rule if you guys watch in the old videos there's actually footage of big ounce scaring away homeland so all the profit from our big ounce pillows and merch will just be going to that project and then the rest of the profit for the the other merch will just go into fixing this place we're gonna end up enclosing a certain area so that we can have animals that are not in the heat and cold and i'm gonna go ahead and sell and replace these garage doors now that it's warm enough and we don't need them we need some garage doors with a little bit more insulation but the link to all those products is in the description we also have our new site finally up and running again and we can finally guarantee that you'll get your products or we'll give you your money right back immediately and to a lot of you guys you end up getting sent multiple products that happened a lot last round which was very odd Hopefully that doesn't happen a ton again, but it probably will happen. And one very lucky big ounce pillow buyer will actually even get his tumor in the mail. Very big. It's going to be worth thousands. Also, I doubled these up so he doesn't just chew through it again. That's it for now, though, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the... Oh, almost forgot to tell you.